hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to upload image in Django so let's get started with it so this is our code and I have created a basic index page over here with the simple bootstrap table design and this is the output so this is a static data we are going to insert in the database and we are going to fetch it over here so let's start with the coding part so here I have created a template with the name add.html this contains a simple bootstrap form design over here so don't forget this this is very important okay guys just so whenever you are uh, uploading image this enc type equal to multipart and form data this is very important and these rest of the things are just uh, input tags and I'm taking the name description price and the image okay so now we'll just create a URL for this in the path I mean in the urls.py file so here is the path with the add product I have given and we are going to create this function I'll just copy the name so in the views we are going to create a add product function so here and paste the file I mean the function name add product of request and here we are going to return the first render I mean we are going to return the add.html file products slash add dot html okay so we'll just add that in the navbar here say add prod okay this is the url name which i have given in the urls dot file you can see the name so this thing i have called over there we'll just check in the output so refresh and oops we'll check if the server is running so open the terminal and no we haven't run the servers so set py manage.py run server enter let us check the output now reload and here add product okay go to the views products and the request over here I just missed the request save and reload the page so we have got this form design now let us write the code to insert the data in the database so go to your views.py file okay here it is and we are going to check if the request dot method oops method is equal to post okay so if it is a post method we are going to insert the data so for that first we need to import the model okay so we have called it over here from models import item so in the previous video we had created this model the link is in the description of how to create this model and here it is we have imported now we are going to call it okay so item or let me call it as prod variable and the model name item okay so prod dot name is equal to request dot post dot get the input name over here this name attribute of the input tag take it name paste similarly for all the fields you are going to do name description copy that or you can just copy it from the form so you abide errors paste it over here oops product price and the product image so product image we have given as nullable so sometimes there might not be a product image so at that time it will throw an error so for that we are going to check if the product ha I mean if the form has image or no so if length function request dot files is not equal to zero then product prod dot image is equal to request dot files of the image name 
so this is the input tag name okay i'll just show you here here okay so the input type equal to file and name i have given image so copy that and paste it over here so now we have to save the data whatever we have assigned over here so prod dot save and return now we have to redirect to the main page okay we'll give so before redirecting i will set the message over here that is the success message messages dot success and here you have to give the request first request along with the message okay so say product added successfully okay so now we are ready to test the code so we'll go and reload product name say readme note 8 description 4 plus 64 gb good phone the price Okay, so we're going to choose the image now. I'm going to say open and save. So it is saved and redirected, but we didn't get the message. Okay, so first let us check in our database if it is there. So here it is inserted successfully. Okay, I'll show you. I have inserted three products over here, and we are going to fetch this and display it over here. So let's start with the coding. So go to the products and the views file. Okay. So in this index function, we need to pass the data. So I'm going to say products is equal to the item was that model which we had created. Okay, item dot objects dot all. So I'll create a context equals products. and product so i prefer using this way you can directly add it over here context okay so now let us go to the index.html and display the data so we are going to add a for loop over here say for and paste the products variable here and what we are going to do here is create a instance variable so what you can say is p and and for you have to paste it below the table row so it will keep repeating the row the number of times uh, the total product is here we need to print the data okay so it's a p dot name or the first column is id right so p dot id and I just copy and paste the same thing so p dot id is done p dot name p dot description and the price and the image we have given a static image right over here so we are going to give the dynamic image if there is no image for that then it throws an error so for that we'll give this default image okay we'll be using the concept of if else over here say if and here we'll add else okay so if p dot image so if there is an image just display this part else show the default image so what i'm going to do here is remove all this and here you have to say p dot image dot url okay what this will do is it will call it all the path from the static static folder okay so this looks good now let us check the code i mean check the output okay we'll go and reload and here it is you can see all the data is here there's some mistake with the image let us check inspect and images uploads okay and here in a static uploads 
okay so we have we check the model and here it is okay I missed that so whenever you are using the images in the main project which you have created in that URLs file you need to include that okay so first let us import the basic things which you need so django.conf import settings and from django.conf dot urls dot static import static okay so after importing this just add here if settings dot debug oops just mistake say url patterns plus equal to static of settings dot media underscore url comma document root underscore root equals to media oops settings dot media underscore root okay so what's wrong here setting okay my sp I just misspelled it settings okay this should work now and let's close it and reload the page okay so here it is you can see the images has been loaded and in this edit button we need to give a URL so before giving the URL let us create that in the URLs.py so here URLs.py file copy and paste say so edit product and the function name we are going to edit so edit product and the name also I don't see edit prod copy this function name and create a function with this name in the views.py file Oops. okay and that's the request and which product we are going to edit we have to specify that also right so in this URL we are going to say int of primary key so we can send the ID or any unique key so I'll keep it a string so what we have sent here primary key right PK whatever you have given here the same thing you have to mention it in this okay so PK return render the template name so I haven't created a template yet I just do it products slash edit dot HTML let's create a template with that name Over here I will say new file edit dot HTML and the design will be same as the add dot HTML but here we'll have the prefilled data and we are going to just, just edit that okay instead of add data it's edit data okay and here we are going to first send the data right so I'll create the variable prod equals to the model name item dot objects dot all not all I mean the ID which is the primary key so ID equal to pk so we are going to pass the id through the edit button to the url and the you from the url we are going to take it and filter from the data from here and pass it in the edit.html page so create a context equals say prod prod okay and just pass that here first the request i just missed that request comma context go to the edit.html and here in this name give value equals and within this we need to print that okay so p dot name so just copy and paste this for all the fields copy 
this is the description so p dot description this is the price okay p dot price and this is the image okay so if you need you can display the image so i just do that mg src equals p dot image dot url okay so if there is a image it will display the image alt equals to image here so if there is no image for any product which you have while inserting this will throw an error so you need to add a if condition here also so p dot image if p dot image then it will show else it's going to say just this Im uh, input will be there so this image will show as big right so i'll add a class over here it's there in the index prod size this is a custom class which i have created and just add over here okay and yes so instead of save let's say update and btn warning will be or will say btn yeah warning will be better so we'll go to the index page now where we had the edit button so here in this href we have to give the thing okay so url oops i'll just remove this url okay and edit prod so this is my name of the url here you can see name edit prod and along with that i'm just going to pass the id of that product which i want to edit p dot id so this will take to the url and from the url we are going to filter the data and send to the next page refresh and you can see the url so when i click on this we are going to get here edit product of one two and three so i'll click two can see edit product 2 the data is not here let us check why is that so edit here i have given p okay so we'll go to the views file here you can see it's prod not p okay so i had used the p in the index page so i just got confused so wherever we have p i'll just change it to prod okay now you can reload the page and check so you've got the data okay so now when we change and update this data so i'll update the price to 599 it has to update so let us write that code now so we'll go to the views file and here we are going to check if the request method is post so if request dot method is equal to post then first we will check the image if there is image okay so if length of request dot files is not equal to zero then first we are going to remove the previous files whatever is there in the database for this product we are going to delete that previous image so this condition satisfied that there is a file in the form which we have submitted so now let us check if there is a existing image or not so for that we have to give another if condition here if length of the prod dot image so this is just clear guys so whatever we have fetched the product of that product image column we are checking if there is any data so if this is greater than zero then we have to delete that right so we'll say os dot remove the prod dot image image dot path okay so this will do and os is showing error let us import that at the top import os okay this should fix it yes it's fixed 
and now we are going to set this file so this was for checking if there is a file in the form so if there is a already existing file we are deleting it else it will be in this line okay so here we are going to say prod dot image is equal to request dot files dot oops not dot and here the image i mean the name of that image input tag so here it is image copy and paste the same thing and prod dot name is equal to you can just copy that from this thing the had product thing it will be almost the same paste it over here and this will be in the outer indent okay so if it is a post method so this is for the image processing if there is an image or not this will check and the name description and the price we have to update anyways okay and here what we are going to say is prod there is no update method here so we are just going to save it again but due to this it will not create a new id and it will save in the previous one itself okay so now it's done let us set the message okay, messages dot success request and here we are going to say product updated success fully so after setting the message we are going to redirect return redirect to the home page can remove this empty space okay save and now let us test the code we'll open the browser and reload the page okay so this i am going to make 599 and update so this shows imp required right so i am not going to update it every time so we can remove this required from the edit file save and refresh change the price to 599 and click update you can see product updated successfully and here it is changed so now let us test with the image thing okay so first we'll check the image here in static uploads and this is the sports shoes okay so the file name ends with 1533 sports shoes right so we are going to update it with another thing this should remove from here so we'll click edit and choose file i'm going to upload this footwear update okay so you can see the new one has come so let us check if the old one old image has been deleted or it's still there so here in your uploads folder the casual shirt is there mobile and the footwear okay the sport shoes uh, image has been deleted now we are going to add the delete button over here and delete the products so this is the edit code and first let us add the url say path delete product slash str of pk okay so i'm going to send id over here views dot delete product this is the be the function name and the name for this url so i'm saying delete prod okay keep it delete so copy this function name and create a function in your views.py file so say function and request with the pk so it's not necessary you send the primary key i mean the pk as a argument here you can say anything id or whatever you need but make sure whatever you have given here you just give the same name or here okay so now we are just going to create the variable first prod or the instance prod equals to items item okay this is the model which you created item dot objects dot filter where id equals to the pk which you have passed over the primary key okay so 
once it's filtered we are just going to delete that prod dot delete and it's deleted so we are going to set the message messages dot success say request and here product deleted success fully okay so after deleting we have to return and redirect to the home page redirect okay so now let us test this code so before testing we need to add it in the index.html here it is copy and paste here let's say delete product okay this delete product button danger and here I'm going to say delete so just refresh the page and now we'll delete this shoe right okay so delete you can see hey product deleted successfully go to the database and check refresh you can see the ID number 2 has been deleted now let us check if the image is deleted from the folder or not so once the product is deleted we don't require that image so inside our uploads folder you can see the casual shirt is here and the this is the footwear which we deleted right so we don't require this so let us delete this also along with the data so before deleting that you can just add this code over here or I'll just type it here so first we'll check if the length function of prod dot image is greater than zero okay so if there is an image just os dot remove prod dot image dot path okay so this will remove the image if it is existing so now you can see there are three images right so now we'll delete the mobile and we'll check if the mobile is mobile image is deleting or not go and refresh the page so you can see this is the mobile so i'm going to delete this so this says this has no attribute image okay so let's check with that okay items.objects.filter let's try with get okay and reload the page then delete this okay so this works so product deleted successfully now let us check with the image if it is there so you can see the image has been reduced to 2 it was 3 so this is the casual shoes which we deleted at the sorry this is the shirt and this is the footwear which we deleted at the first id number 2 so the mobile which you deleted right now has been deleted the image has been deleted and the record from the database will be deleted so refresh and check you can see there is only one product over here that is this shirt so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again